Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. Last episode, I kicked the crap out of Guzma, and went further than Gladian could. And this episode, I'm exploring both sides of this building before I go inside and face what I imagine is going to be Lusamine. Oh, it's pretty. And it's all gated. That's kind of... Ooh. Cool. I accidentally found that. Ah, wow, Music Kev, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You came? You actually came to help, Music Kev? Thank you, thank you. Hmm, so you two know one another. A gifted young trainer like Music Kev, and he bothers with someone like you. How disappointing. I don't need your approval, Mother, or your permission. I will save Cosmog. My, you do say such incomprehensible things. Calling me Mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. So tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, little Lily? You failed to convince me to listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing you've ever done on your own is steal someone else's research material. You're not beautiful enough for my world. Ooh, but fine. Since you're here anyway, you can watch me summon my sweet beast. And then you can leave. I'm not being foolish or selfish. I'm not asking you to listen, Mother. Do not sacrifice Cosmog for that beast's sake. If you open the Ultra Worm hood, hole, Cosmog will, Cosmog will die. You're probably right. It'll probably die. But because I'm going to force it, force it to use its power, whether it wants to or not. That's not cool. Maybe if you had been a daughter to me, I would have listened to you. Too bad. I, I, but... Music Kevin, I'm happy that you came after me, but I have to be selfish again. I have to ask you one more time. Please, please help me. Help Nebby. We have to save Nebby. So is the entirety of this um, plot line going to take place before I finish my trials? Oh wait, I can smell her bed. It's soft and enveloping. It feels as though you could sink right into it. Okay. Uh, she's going to summon an Ultra Beast whenever we get up there. And those things have, like, really weird typings. Not to mention, like, confusing moves. Aw, there's little Cosmog. What is this place? Oh, no, that's not Cosmog. That's a cube. Hurry, this way. That lucent mean lady scares me is what uh, the little Rotom says. Did, is that a frozen slow bro? Slow poke? What do you think? It's my private connection. My precious babies. They will be preserved for all eternity here. Oh my gosh, that's dark. No. Not cool. It's a frozen Pikachu? It's a Pika Pop. Okay, sorry. This This isn't funny. This is... But my poor beast, what confusion, what rage it must be feel, arriving in this strange world. It would not be right to confine its feelings in such a small case as these ones. It will need to express itself. I think I will let it express its fury upon the Alola region as it will. Oh, how nice of you to join us. Whoa, music Kev! <laughs> oh, Lily! Man, I'm so glad to see you're okay. Ah, oh, sweet how, you came too? Hmm, and Gladian, must you be so untidy? You'll listen to me at least. You mustn't open the ultra wormhole. You cannot let the beast run wild. Yep, definitely hit her son. The daughter who stole my cosmog from me, and the son who took my type null. All I ever did was give you two all the love I had, and all you did was betray me. You've no right to ask for my attention now. Huh? Daughter, son? Wait, you're all a family? Thanks for joining the party, Hal. Perhaps we once were, sweet Hal, but those wretches beside you left me. But does not matter now? None of it matters now. Don't go evil, Lusamine. I wasn't able to open the Ultra Wormhold using just the gases we extracted from Cosmog when it was an Aether Paradise, was I? That bag's better. But now I have Cosmog itself inside the crate here. 
If I use its entire body, how many underwater wormholes will I be able to open? How many sweet beasts will come to me then? That's a bad idea. Please stop. If Nebby isn't, if you make it use too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen. Like when we ran away from the paradise, it couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much of its power, it will die. Watch. I will open the ultra wormhole for you. Come to me, my sweet beast. Can I punch her? Can I punch her in the face now? Because that's not cool. Oh, the jellyfish is back. Oh, crappity. Ooh, there's another one. It's a giant mosquito. So is there going to be one in each region that I have to go fight? Or one in each island, I should say. You see? All of her Lola. Pew. Huh, must she be so noisy even inside there? What an annoying Pokemon. The only thing I need from you is your power. I will admit, it looks like that power has served me well. There should be plenty of beautiful beasts appearing all around Alola as we speak. Oh, look! On Akala and Pony! Even on Mele Mele Island! Ho 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 ho! It looks like Gladian is constantly face palming. Near Mele Mele Island's Mahalo Trial. Do, 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 just a kahuna on a stroll. Loot. Wait, this disturbance I feel. A great disturbance in the force. Sorry. Sorry, it's not Star Wars. Oh, this one's a rare visitor. You've come before the island kahuna. Huh. Did you come here as a guardian or just to battle? The other island surely must be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. As the kahuna of this island, I, Hala, will support you. That's right, the guardians protected Alola from the Ultra Beasts in the past, according to those histories. He, my sweet beast. Madam Prez, experiment was a success, huh? Looks like it's time to catch this wicked ultra beast to beat down the annoying upstarts. You're right. Guzma, quiet those children for me. I don't want to hear from them again. I'll stop the beast. My partner Null was born to be a beast killer. How? You take Guzma. <laughs> Music Cap, stop the president. If we don't, Alola will be flooded with beasts. Music Cap, we have to get Nebby back. What a disappointment. To think you are all so minded. You're going to startle my sweet beast. Music Cap, it looks like I'll need to silence you first. The Gladian was the one making the plans. Technically, you need to silence him first. Go silence him. I'm actually pointing right now, you just can't see it because I don't have face cam. Alright, Lusamina, you look like you're actually going to be a challenge. Look, Clefable, are you going to have all fairy types? I bet you have all fairy types. And this looks like an interesting fight. Let's get ready for it.
Okay. We'll both start by buffing. I can buff faster than you can buff. I only need two to be almost maxed out. Just widening the gap, I guess. Let's put him down. Nice shot. Do I even have any Pokemon who are strong against fairy types? I don't have any poison types. Ooh, that's not a fairy type. Do you just have, like, pretty Pokemon? Is that your thing? Mystical fire? Ooh, ooh, okay, chill. Chill. So I'm not expecting that much damage from Miss Magius. Actually, I don't even remember the move Mystical, Mystical Fire existing. Ooh, Milotic. I'm gonna roost. Okay, perfect. I picked the right time to do that. Get my health back while I hit it with a drill peck. Ooh, dear. Ooh, boy. Okay. This is a fairy type. That is a fairy fighting, I think? I know it's super powerful. Um. I can outspeed it. Hammer arm. What? Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Um. Hammer arm was super effective against me? How? I'm normal flying type. That sh if it was fighting... You know what? I don't have time to figure that out. I need to let someone else take this. Almond has the highest defense of my team. Hopefully... Holy crap! Okay. Heavy Slam. I know he's fairy type. He's not. I should have led with counter. Um, shoot. I don't want to lose Almond to this attack. Hammer Arm's got to be fighting type. Um, Volley. Ooh, I think I, I think I messed up. I think I messed up, guys. Okay, Volley, you gotta do this. Shoot. Shoot. Come on, tough it out, bro. Don't die. Yes! I really like that mechanic, even though it's a little bit unfair for a Nuzlocke challenge. It's basically like they're all wearing a um, focus sash with like a 20% chance of activating. Okay, big threat out of the way. Lilligant. Okay, grass type. Um, my best choice for this is Tattle. Okay.
Okay, that's fine. I don't really have that good attack. Let's hit him with a bug buzz. Get that super effective hit. All right. Huh. Level 45 was the correct level, guys. Nobody died. Voleg get another level. Reversal. Hmm, interesting. Let's check my old moves here. Reversal becomes more powerful the less HP I have. That's going to go ahead and replace um, Close Combat. Close Combat's strong, but Reversal can get stronger, especially if I spend the first part of my battle using Bulking Up. How can you be so awful? Shakes like Gladian does. Huh. All I want is my precious beast. I don't care about the rest of you. No, the Ultra Wormhole is disappearing. Guzma, with me. We'll catch the beast using the beast ball we've developed here. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. They're both flickering. Mother! Please tell me Cosmog's still there. Why? Nebby, are you alright? Nebby? What is it? Ooh. He's an eyeball. It's changed forms and it's not moving. Why is form spelled with an E? Come on, let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. <coughs> Do you get Nebby? You're all in harm, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe. There's still a ton we have to do. There's the President and Guzma, who both disappeared into the Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Cosmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even she is like that, Lusamine is still our mother. We can't just leave her in the Beast's world. We may be able to reach the other worlds if we had Alola's legendary Pokemon on our side. The people of Alola worship it, but I don't know if it's even real. Of course it is. After all, the Beasts are real. I'm sure we can find it. We'll find the legendary Pokemon. To thank you both. Music, Kevin, you how? Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I've prepared a few beds in the staff residential quarters. We'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll sleep here. In the bed I once shared with my mother when I was small. Just one last time. Lily, I wouldn't. That's kind of, like, sad. And especially with how evil your mother clearly is. So, I don't know how I feel about the whole them toughing it out so I don't cry thing. Because technically I should have lost two Pokemon there. But a Nuzlocke like challenge says only if they faint. Music Kev, Miss Lily waiting outside if you're willing to meet her. So yeah, I'm going to just take that as a small victory that they tough it out for me every now and then. Even the one who toughed out like three lethal attacks in a row. That happened a while back, and I didn't say anything about it then. <coughs> Had no business surviving those attacks, guys. Is that Lily? That is Lily. She's wearing something different. I picked these clothes up in Mali. Do you think they suit me? Sure do. Music Kev, thank you. 
I feel like there's so much I have to do now to save Nebby, to save my mother. I want to be like you, Musikev. I want to be strong enough to face any trial. That's why I'm going to try my hardest. This is my Z-powered form. Yeah, just look at her like she's crazy. So this is where you were. Found this downstairs. It's the moon flute. It's apparently an artifact from Alola's past. They say it's to be played under the moon's light. Sun flute and moon flute. When sounded together, it's said that they can call a legendary Pokemon. That is, if you believe in old myths, anyway. So it looks to me like the woman was planning on to add the legendary Pokemon to her little collection there. Here, take this with you. You can give me the sun flute. Oh, the master ball! There it is. You can catch any Pokemon without fail. I'm counting on you to help Lily. This is the least I can do. But what are you going to do, Gladian? Deal with this mess. I've got to clean up Aether Paradise. I wanted to get as far away from this place as I could, together with Null. But in the end, it looks like I end up right here again. Music have. Yeah, how's the music? And hey, it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? Yes, it's me. I'm ready to use my full force, too. You look fantastic. Calm down. What was that? I'm gonna train even harder. I've gotta do more. Keep getting saved by music having this Pokemon, don't I? It's not enough. I gotta be able to save Pokemon on my own. If I can't do that, I'll never be an island kahuna, and I'll never be able to make people really smile. And I still haven't done Acerola's trial or anything. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Sorry for dragging you into our family mess. Yeah, we got to th see things almost no one else would ever get the chance to see. Maybe if I set out to train harder, I'll get to see more amazing things like that again. Um, yeah, our mother does like to do things on an extravagant scale. I was really g glad you came too, Hal. <laughs> I get, I can get you to the next island at least, Pony Island. I'll wait for you at the docks. Come on, Music Cav, let's show the world what we can really do. Okay, um, thank you. Oh, I could just fly. Huh. Well, so Aether Paradise can be made a place to, um, oopsie. I didn't want to go to the conservation area. But you know what? I don't think I explored it much whenever I was here the first time. Let me do a quick check here around and see if there's any, um, Zygarde pieces or... I suppose I could try to catch Pokemon here, but I don't think that the... I think the Pokeballs don't work in the conservation area. That was, the, the, like, the whole premise behind it. And seriously, I don't know how they go from this to Pokemon Frozen and Ice. I guess some people take things a little bit too extreme. People in their collections. Okay, we need to go to the docks, not the lab area. So I got the Master Ball now. Um, those of you who don't know what the Master Ball is, it's guaranteed to catch any Pokemon without fail. I don't know if he said that whenever he gave it to me or not, but... That's what it does. What you guys doing? So, perhaps, the next Pokemon I need to catch, I'll be using the Master Ball. Ready to go? Yep. Alright. Let's go, Music Cat. No holding back. Off to Pony Island. It's convenient that we stopped at a midpoint between... Um, the original island that we were just on in Pony Island. Melee Melee Island? I can't remember. Hmm. Seafolk Village. Hey, look at all the boats shaped like fish. That's funny. It's a whiz catch. The Sharpedas. There's a Steelix boat. Pony Island. Almost no one lives on it, but you'll find a whole lot of nature to explore here. Go, find the Kahuna. The Kahuna of Pony Island also protects the shrine where Alola's people worship the legendary Pokemon. Maybe they'll know something that might help you. Gladian, thank you for this. 
when you took Noel and left Aether Paradise two years ago, you left me alone with Mother. She was so bad after you left. If I didn't, hadn't had Wiki with me... I'm sorry. I wasn't there for you when you needed me. All I could think about back then was finding a way to save Noel. That was the battle I was fighting. But now you've found your own battle to fight. I know you can handle it. He's a nice big brother. Easy, Kev. I'm okay. You don't have to worry. I know what I have to do now. And, I don't know, maybe it sounds strange, but I'm kind of excited. Pony Island, here we come. New kinds of Pokemon to rub elbows with. If only I had elbows. Bzz. So, here I am on a new island, and that calls it for this episode. Be sure to check in with Artistical to see how she does. I'm Musikev, and this has been Pokemon Sun. Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. See you next time. Alola, it's me, Artistical. So, it wasn't us who teamed up with Team Skull, it was Team Aether. That I actually didn't see coming, and I have no clue why. I guess I'm too used to the Magma Aqua rivalry or something, but that explains why the Aether guys didn't battle Team Skull themselves before. But you know what I did see coming? Lily's relations! Well, I got the mother and brother right. And how slow on the uptake as ever. That's okay, Hal. You are still awesome. But that battle, man. Whew! My heart was pounding after Chum took a heavy hit from Beware. He almost died. Lusamine is a strong one, I'll give her that. But now that all that's done and things have calmed down, well, as much as they will anyway, let's go catch ourselves a moon bat. Oh, but not before I find myself a town. I've been wearing the same clothes for a while now, and even Lily's changed. She looks great, by the way. Not just an awesome new look, but she's got herself some confidence. Good for you, Lily. P.S. Gladion gave me the sun flute. I'm assuming he gave Musikev the moon flute. Just need to note the differences between the games.